Hey, this is Eric Kurtz, and in this video, we're going to take a look at three tools you can use as a countdown timer in your classroom. Now, you might use a countdown timer for a, a number of reasons. Uh, perhaps um, as a teacher, you might have your students working on a project, maybe brainstorming or discussing a topic or uh, completing a sample problem, and you want to limit them to a certain amount of time to do that. Or perhaps uh, your students are doing an experiment and uh, one of the constraints of that experiment is it must be done in a certain amount of time. A countdown timer would work well for that. Or maybe even you've got a, a student who needs a little additional structure or a little motivation to complete their work and they themselves could set a countdown timer to say if I work so long uh, then I'll take a break and do something fun after that. Uh, whatever reason you might have for using a countdown timer there's a lot of tools out there that can do this for you. Well we're gonna look at three examples today that um, are all easy to use and uh, work well in a classroom and each of them involve something to do with uh, Google Apps or using a Google tool. Uh, the first one we're going to take a look at is probably the simplest of all of them. You don't have to install a single thing. Basically, it's just from a Google search. So if you go to the Google search page and either type in a search term or you could even just go up to your Omnibox anywhere that you're at because you can type a search term up in the top just as well and that'll work. But either way, if you simply type in the word timer, you will get a live interactive countdown timer. Here, let me show you. So simply typing in the word timer brings up this live interactive countdown timer. And what you can do with this is you can click on the timer itself and you can set how many hours, minutes, or seconds you might want to go with. I'll say we're going to set this for 10 seconds. We can also come over here and we can toggle on or off the alarm, the sound that will go um, when you reach zero, if you want to sound or if you don't. And there's also a little button over here, which is your full screen button, which will allow us to switch into full screen mode as well. And of course, there's our start button and our reset button. So let's go ahead and try it out. Uh, we've set this for 10 seconds. Uh, we've got the sound on. Let's switch to full screen mode. And then let's go ahead and click the start button. And at that point, it's just going to count down for us from 10 seconds. And when it hits the end, we should just get a nice little beeping sound to let us know. And there we go. Excellent. And we'll go ahead and exit out of full screen mode. Now, in addition to typing in the word timer and bringing this timer up, you can also put the amount of time you want in the search itself. And if you do that, it'll preset it for you and launch right into it. Uh, so for example, if I wanted to do a timer that was for 30 seconds, I could, instead of typing in timer, I could say timer for 30 seconds press enter and it will launch right into that as well. Uh, you can say other things like um, one minute timer or 10 second countdown. Any of those variations will work as well. All right, so that's one very easy option to get you started. A second tool we're gonna take a look at is actually a Chrome web app and it's simply called Timer. So um, to get this, you'll need to go to the Chrome Web Store uh, and just search for Timer. Or if you go to the blog post, I will have a blog post to go along with this video and I'll have all the links in there as well. That blog post will be at controlaltachieve.com slash timers. If you go there, you'll be able to get the link directly to this and the next tool as well so that you can install those. But once you do have this installed, then you can go ahead and launch that. And it'll take me over to the, um, the web app. And I've got an option for a countdown, an alarm clock, or a stopwatch. Well, I'm going to switch over to the countdown section here. And again, you can set um, if you want hours, minutes, or seconds. And we'll come over here and we'll do a 10 second countdown. Let me pause that for just a moment. 
Um, in addition to starting the countdown and setting hours, minutes, and seconds, you can also come down here to the bottom where there's a little gear icon. If you hover above the gear icon, you can decide what YouTube video you would like to play when it finally reaches down to zero. Now, by default, what it's going to play is uh, a chiming antique clock, and that's perfectly fine. But hey, if you've got a different video you would like to launch when it gets down to zero, you can do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll set this again. We'll say uh, zero for our hours. Whoops, we just did 100. We'll do zero or for our minutes. Uh, zero hours, zero minutes. And uh, let's again, we'll do like uh, 20 seconds this time. And we we'll go ahead and click the start countdown button. And now it's counting down from 20. Now the thing that I want to give your attention to is notice that in addition to counting down here, it's also counting down up in the tab at the top. What does that mean? Well, that means I can go to other websites, work on things, and still see the countdown going on. That's a great way. Oh, and here comes our video. There we go. <laughs> We'll go ahead and stop that. Uh, but that's a great tool if you need students to be working on something else while the countdown's running and still be able to see that. So they can launch this, they can move to other websites, do whatever they need, and they'll always see that countdown running up in the tab in the top there. All right, so that is your second tool. The third and final one we're gonna take a look at actually uses uh, Chromecast. So for this one, this is a Android app. So if you've got an Android phone or an Android tablet, you would be able to install this app from the Google Play Store. And again, the link will be um, in the blog post that goes along with this video. And it's called Countdown Timer for Chromecast. And the idea is, if you're not familiar with Chromecast, some most people are, but it's a small device that you plug into the HDMI port on your TV or your monitor or your classroom projector. And then you can stream things from other devices through the Chromecast onto your projector or your TV. It also works with apps. So in this case, what you would do is you would install the Countdown Timer for Chromecast app on your Android device. And then when you launch it, you would get the screen where you get to do a couple of things. First of all, you would click the button at the top here to connect to your Chromecast. And that way it would allow you to start showing on the Chromecast this app. And then you can type in a description of what you're counting down to. And then of course you can set the hours and the minutes and the seconds just like normal. And then finally you can pick the theme. There's like a red theme, a blue and a gray. I think the blue is the most attractive, but you could decide. And then when you hit start, it starts running. And what it shows on the screen is a very nice, attractive, big countdown timer using the settings that you have set here. All right. Well, those are three possible countdown timers. You may have other ones that uh, that you enjoy. And so uh, as a reminder, uh, please head on over to the uh, blog where you'll find some more details about these countdown timers. And you can give some of your feedback on which ones you like to use and how you use them. So head over to controlaltachieve.com slash timers and that'll take you right into the blog post for this particular video where you can uh, get all the links and uh, leave your feedback as well while you're here definitely check out the rest of the blog posts that are there there's also a resources tab where i put resources for all my google apps uh, help guides and slideshows and so forth and there's even my webinars tab where you can watch any of my uh, previously recorded webinars. I got about 20 of those at the moment here and typically do about two new ones a month. All of those are freely available for you there. And finally, there is a tab for uh, the e-newsletter you can sign up for to stay in the loop on all the other things that I'm putting out on the website. So thanks so much for watching the video. Take care.